All right, for the second week in a row on the Aggie Spotlight of the Week, I've got a national champion. I'm joined right now by women's basketball player Carla Gilbert. How are you doing today, Carla? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. Thanks for joining me. What have you been up to this summer? Um, well, basically, we've just been, um, you know, promoting what we do best, basketball, women's basketball. We had a lot of camps. We've been doing summer school, you know, taking care of our academics and working out and trying to get ready for the next season. Yeah, and I guess that's keeping you busy. Are you pretty excited about the SB's nomination? Oh, yeah, it's very excited. When is that again? Is that July? Uh, I thought it was the 13th. 13th, okay. People go out and vote. You know, I think it's SBs.com, best team, women's basketball. It, how is it like being a hometown kid, being able to play for A&M, and was it a tough decision to choose A&M? Uh, it was really a tough decision because I've been just going to A&M games, so all I really knew about was A&M. Um, it was pretty exciting because there's really no excuses for my parents not to be at my basketball games now, so <laughs> they can just come down the street and come watch me play. Yeah, I can imagine that'll be good. I went to Consol too. What, what year were you again? Class of 2010. Okay, I, I was 07. Do you ever get to go over to Consol, see your <coughs> old friends play, old teammates play, or just go visit? Yes, I can go to Consol a lot because my mom's a teacher there, and my brother plays for the team, so I'm there a lot. Probably a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess what, what made you first want to get into basketball? Um, I don't know if it was really a choice. I don't remember the first time I touched the basketball, so that's all I really just been. That's all I knew or whatever. So, did you play any other sports in high school? Yeah, I did a little bit of everything. I did um, volleyball, basketball, track. This is your this is your favorite one, though. Yes. Yeah. Do, uh, do, do you have any like favorite professional teams or anything? WNBA, NBA, or anything? Um. Well, I used to, but, you know, now that we have some WNBA players there, you know, I don't really have one. I just like a couple of individuals. <laughs> Are you going to go to the game on the up in San Antonio when Sydney comes to play? Yes, I think our whole team is going. So that, should be, uh, that should be cool to see them both play. What, what, what do, you, do you have any other hobbies? Like, I know it, you probably keep really busy with, with schoolwork, and like you said, you got camps and – and all the off-season stuff, in-season stuff, but do you have any hobbies, things you like to do besides that? Yeah, I like to hang out with my friends, you know, do the girly stuff, go to the nail shop, go shopping. Um, just, I don't know, go to the movies with my family. you have any favorite movies? Mm, not really, anything with action, you know. <laughs> what, what is, do you guys have, I know you lost some really good players, but you guys have still have a lot of great players and some more great players coming in. How, how do you feel about next season? Where, where do you think that that's going to go? Do you do all feel like you can repeat? Um, yeah, I think I think that there is a a tremendous you know possibility for us to repeat. I mean, it's all up to us. We have a lot of great recruits, a lot of people that can fill up spots. It won't be the same because no person is exactly the same as the other. But I think that we have great potential. We have a lot of good athletes that are coming in for the next couple of years. What are some of the favorite places that you've traveled to? Because you guys have got to go to some really cool places so far for the team. <laughs> well, uh, for A&M, yeah. Texas A&M, I really, I really like Mexico and New York because Mexico had like this little tropical feel because we're like in the resort and everything, and we don't have that in College Station mm -hmm. or Texas at all. And I like New York because, I mean, everything's there. Y'all are going to the Bahamas this year. Are you looking forward to that? Oh yes, I'm gonna get my little bathing suit body shape ready. No. <laughs> is that Atlantis, like the Paradise Island, or was is that on? Uh, I, I didn't hear what island that is. Do you know? Nope, I'm just in for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any favorite foods? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm one of those people who I don't know. I just like to eat as long as it tastes good. But I like a lot of Cajun spicy food. And stuff like that. Yeah, Cajun's good. There's not a lot of Cajun food around here, though, unfortunately. What's your favorite tradition about A&M besides the winning? Because I know that's that's probably number one. I know that. But what's your favorite part about A&M besides that? 
Um, I like how everyone comes in together and basically it's like a family when they come to support. Um, we have our songs that everybody knows and like how we join in together and you know everything is everybody's in sync when it comes to you know supporting each other. Definitely, definitely. Um, what is your major? My major is special education. So are you hoping to like be a maybe a coach and a teacher someday? Yeah, going along those lines. <laughs> if professional works out, I mean, doesn't work out, or if it does work out, maybe afterwards. Of course, yes. <laughs> Did, were you in, involved at all with the special ed at Consol? Because I know they have a really uh, great program for that there for the the special ed kids there. Um, not really so much, but I, I knew some of the students that were in there, but I wasn't really like involved with them. Do you have a favorite uh, Coach Blair quote? Because I know he's got a lot of good ones. He's got, like, uh, don't get off this bus. And do you have any, uh, I don't know, inspirational or funny quotes that maybe just meant a lot to you? Um, well, I don't know if it really, like, meant a lot, but it was just something about Coach Blair. He always he has this swagger word that he likes to say now. He's, y'all are all going out there and, give them and show them your best swagger and we're one individual and we'll show them how we can go out there and do this you know he likes to say swagger now so uh, yeah I, I can't imagine him saying swagger but i guess he did do the dougie also so yeah he has a little swag just a little bit did you uh see uh coach blair when he was on uh, the norm mcdonald show they nominated him for best dougie of the year Oh, man, I missed that. I'm sure I would have liked it, though. Yeah, he was on there. I think it was the same one that DeAndre Jordan was on there, so that was uh, good for a &M. So what, what do you have to do to kind of stay stay focused? Do you think it's it helps being doing all these – like during the – stay focused during the summer, does it help doing all these camps and staying in you know, <coughs> school, staying in town? Does that help, you know, keep you focused and concentrated? Um, yeah, in a way it does because um, everything revolves around, you know, the campus. So um, you're constantly reminded by the stuff that you see, the people reminding you, you know. You can't just get too far away from what you're expected to do. Teaching the kids like that, does that make you want to be a teacher even more, coach? Um, yeah, I, I kind of like the kids, you know. It's always fun. They're always finding something that interests you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for your time. I look forward to seeing how the team does next year. I imagine that you'll be probably starting, right? Um, I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll assume it, but I know you can't you can't say that for sure. It's up to Coach Blair, so he's going to do what he's going to do. But I'm looking forward to next year. I thank you for taking time out to talk to me, and uh, we'll have another Aggie Athlete Spotlight profile next week.